OBS uh, layout. Okay. Okay. Getting ready to do the real intro. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Bonus Twitch. Tonight, I have quite the guest on board because, well, you know he's important because he has two names. So whenever something has two names, it's twice as important as somebody else. Now, I have eight names, but seven of them I don't like. All right. With me tonight is the one, the only, the Warden of Arnor, Mr. Pocket Wraith. Hello. Hi. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. Uh, now, uh, yeah, Mr. Very relaxed. Oh, well, that's also, good. It, also, it's weird actually being on this side of the production. I feel like I'm missing out on all the technical difficulties because I don't have the stream open. <laughs> uh, they're really fun. I mean, that last five minutes was really fun for me. Although you did have technical difficulties just getting it to where I could hear your voice, so yeah. you know, technically technically, you still experience some technical difficulties. Uh, Mr. Wraith, why don't you tell the listeners uh, some of the stuff you do for the community? Um, yeah, I I run the, the blog Warden of Arnor. That's obviously the main thing, but it's kind of a big thing. All sorts of different stuff. I post decks and doing kind of my own version of the progression series, playing two-handed through all of the quests. Um, do deck building challenges, which I've been trying to do in uh, Twitch streams of my own like every other Sunday. And um, I'm assuming you're overseas. I actually don't know if you're just someone who has an accent, or do you actually live um, somewhere in yeah, Europe? I, I live. I live in England. Okay, so when you do the Twitch streams on Sundays, what time would that be? Um, it's at eight p.m. for me, British summer time, which so, so I guess that would be like afternoon some point yeah okay well, that's amazing yeah, that's, that's awesome of, that's kind of why i picked the time because i figured you know, it would be afternoon for people in america and it's at the weekend so they wouldn't be at work yeah but it's no, still a reasonable time for me as well no that makes perfect sense that's awesome well that's awesome that you do all that for the community because someone was just complaining recently that some of the community output has slackened of late and you were quick to point out it's like, hey, I put out tons of crap in April, and you really do, and it's really good. Your decks are really good. I'm going to play one of your decks tonight. Uh, I'm playing Orcs Tumble Into My Traps. And this is a deck that, I, I don't know if it's your most famous deck, but it's one I have I just knew of. Um, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I know this deck. All right, so who do we got? We got Dave G. We got Stokes. We got Finn Barfin. Hello, 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 hello. So uh, I am playing, but it's a modified version, right? You modified it with some of the newer cards that we have available yeah. to us. Um, so yeah, I have not played this deck yet. So I, I'm going to ask you if I should mulligan. But which, uh, what deck are you bringing? And then we'll start talking quests. Um, I mean, uh. Uh, I spent a while looking through my decks, which because I have a bunch of them, and then you know, trying to think of something that would fit in. You, you do. Hey, um, McDog, <laughs> you do have a lot. I was like, oh, I'll pick one of his decks. I'm like, uh, 202 plus 64 fellowship. Oh my god. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, well, of course, that's partly from uh, the line unbroken, my progression style thing, because that's obviously two decks for right. each quest. That I've done, <laughs> and that's doing the thing where you um, only have cards up to the scenario you're playing, right? Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's cool. Like I, I put on some extra restrictions. Like I'm, I'm trying to find a use for pretty much every card at some point somewhere. And I, I almost always use the new hero in the box that they were released as well. well. I was gonna bring that up, which makes your um your series really neat, and I really appreciate it. Is that you don't just keep the same three heroes and just keep slightly modifying the deck. That can get pretty stale. Like I was going through your line of broken deck, unbroken decks, and every hero lineup 
seem to at least have four different heroes. <laughs> it just seemed that way. So I'm like, oh, this is great. I mean, what a what a cool way to show off all the new cards, which is why I'm playing this deck, because yeah. I don't play with Lore Faramir ever. And uh, it also has some of the cool Ranger Trap cards. So those are cards that I never seem to fit into my deck. So I'm excited to try it. No, but you did say this deck is more of a three to four player deck. It's it's a little more supporty, a little more. Yeah. You, uh, need, you need the I enemies. Mean, like, but I mean, for that, like obviously, it's it's decent on attack. So I was figuring that, you know, if I can find something that quests pretty well and maybe has some defense, though that'll be a bit defense load will be a bit easier. Makes uh, sense. So I. But then also. A decent number of my decks are just sort of weird shenanigansy things, yeah. and I quite like playing weird shenanigansy things. So I think I'm going to try this one. I totally agree. I I like. Uh, I think I was talking about this with uh, Big Foam Loaf and uh, Wandering Toot. How you can play the game just to use your tried and true deck to beat it, but then, man, just sitting down and pulling off cool combos, even if you don't win, you just part of the game i love all right wow this looks like a power deck holy crap yep well i mean that's should... say it's kind of a shenanigansy thing because the this was a deck that i built specifically to try and make use of the fall of gil galat oh card so, i've never so used the plan, so the plan is like after i've got a decent start in the quest i'm going to kill aowen <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and then I will become a secrecy deck with two heroes. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I'm excited to see her die. I guess. Okay, so I did the random quest thing four times, and I'm willing to do it again. Here's our choices: uh, the Dunlin Trap, Return to Mirkwood, the Dead Marshes, and the Siege of Care Andros. Yeah, none of those sound particularly great. Yep, yep, yeah, 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 I, I, uh, yeah. Oh! Raid on the Grey Havens. That's a challenge. Man, is that the one that ha starts out with, uh, a sailing test? I think it is, isn't it? Um... No, start... no, Red on the Grey Havens is is the third one from Grey Havens. Oh, so there's no sailing. Oh, that's got the they're, the, they're the tr they're trying flame. To burn all the ships. It's got the flame thingy. Yeah. All right. Well, let's give this one that one a try. That okay. that will be difficult. So. All right. Raid on the Grey Havens. Where is it? There it is. All right, we're going to try to avoid being burnt up here. All right. So, this says, set Captain Sahir and Nasia aside out of play, add the Havens, burn the Dream Chaser, and one copy of Sahir's Ravenger to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck and discard cards from the top until X locations, oh yeah, that's right, with the, a flame keyword are discarded. Or X is the number of players in the game. X locations with the add them to the staging area. All right. Nope. Nope. Mm, yep. Nope. Yep. All right. Well, I'm glad to see that one guy go away. All right. So we added a pillaged ship when revealed. Oh, we don't do when revealed. And the burning piers. All righty. I will flip this. Let's see. Forced at the end of the combat phase, deal X damage to the aflame location in play with the lowest aflame value. X is the number of Corsair enemies in play. This is really good for a trap deck. I already can tell we're we're, we're definitely quest we're definitely uh, teching yeah. against this. This is gonna be great. Um, let's see. The Havens burned forced when a card is placed underneath. Reveal a top card of the encounter deck. All right. Uh, do I want to keep this hand? I have two ranger bows, Mablung, Robinson Barrow, 
Athelion Trekker and Ranger Spikes. Did you? Hey, I know you modified this deck. Did you put in that new Gondor hero that only costs one? That was a Ranger. He looked like he'd be good in this deck. Um, the I think uh, I put him in the sideboard. Okay. Because the... I was thinking he might even replace these two cost guys. Well, I mean, part of the thing is. I actually ended up using Swordbane in this deck. Oh, right, right, so right. So it's the, the advantage of the two cost guys is that they are unique. Well, except for the Athelian Tracker. Right. But his, his ability is useful. Now, Dave G is saying we should just pretend the guys in the net can't burn anything. I say they burn, like, the nets. Like, they're trying to burn the way outside out of the traps, and they're burning the ship that they're trapped on in their nets. All right. So, do I want to keep this hand, or let's see? I don't think I do. I think I want I more. Mean, I want more traps. Yeah, I mean, Ranger Spikes would be good, except Ranger Spikes is possibly the worst trap for this quest, right? Because that's the one where they get trapped, and usually you just leave them there. Hey, Rodar! You can try and kill them afterwards. Then shuffle the discard pile back into the deck, right? Shuffle the. Oh, did I miss that force thing? Yes, I did. Dang it. I was really glad those guys were gone. All right, thanks. Thanks for making this harder. See, now, Pocket Wraith, I thought you were going to be the one that was going to critique me on the rules like this. Oh, I like this better already. All right. All righty. <clears throat> I am going to play Daron's Runes. Sword Thane. Sword Thane. I don't need two of those. All right. For zero, I will play Entangling Nets. Uh, for one, I will play Hennemarth. And then... I think I will save the other two resources to try to get Sword Thane out next turn. Okay. So I am done. Okay, so <laughs> it's okay, Rodar. Let's see. Like Arnold, Gryffindor. Oh, look at all these side quest things. And uh, yeah, then I'm gonna play the side quests. <laughs> Gather information and double back. Seems good. Seems good. All right. Okay, so let's see. This Ravager stays up there, right? Force. Oh, right, because we want to kill as many enemies. Hey, Chris Jackson! How screwed are our, our intrepid podcasters? I think we're doing great so far. No damage on the board. Okay, I will quest for... I don't know. You're sending a lot, aren't you? I'm sending 10. Should I be trying to kill this guy for 8? We could almost kill him. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm just going to send 2. So we'll send 12, and we're currently up against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ooh. Yeah. All right, I will send four. All right, here we go. Oh, do we want to do a side quest? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, we do. We want to do gather information. Okay. Oh, good. I always know it's good when it's a treachery that has the golden circle. When revealed, place one resource on each raider enemy in play. Okay. Each engaged non-ship enemy makes an immediate attack. Gain surge if not. Ugh. And then, oh good, a four threat location. That, that seems fair. Card number two. That, that just really doesn't seem fair. Really? So, what do we have? Eight? We added eight, so we're up to 16. That blows.
right? I don't see anything else we can do. Yeah. Yeah. That really seems unfair. All right, so we go up by four. Damn. All right. Um, we only go up by two, right? Four. We're pressing for 14. Oh, I thought it was... Two. <laughs> eight plus eight is not 18, Chad. All right. All right, we go up by two. And travel seems smart. I don't think yeah. the burning mm -hmm. piers doesn't seem good. Pillage ship. That's not terrible. What are these white ships? Travel. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a Corsair enemy and add it to the staging area. So it would get trapped. Yeah. Okay. Let's go there. Well, that might be good, yeah. All right, so let's look for a Corsair enemy to get trapped in this entangled nets. Uh, okay, the course. Let's. I'll just pull some of these out, and we can look at them. I think these are these are our choices. The Corsair arsonists either deal two damage to. A, so these are when revealed, right? We don't have to reveal them, right? Um, add it. Okay. So the arsonist would become a super wimp. The Corsair infiltrator gets more shadow cards for each resources if we don't kill it. Corsair raider. After it attacks you, it takes one of our resources. And then the raid leader takes resources. Math is hard. Yeah. If we take either the arsonist or the infiltrator, we can kill it. All right. Then I say we take the arsonist to avoid the when revealed. Yeah. I'm all about skipping when revealed. Ah! Okay, I didn't see that. Okie dokie. Engagements. Uh, you're at 27. I'm at 31. And... Yeah, so... We can't really deal with the Ravager at this point. The, the Ravager? Yeah, it's got to stay. So, so I will engage the Arsonist. Makes sense to me. Oops, I get to draw a card. Woo! Mythrender's advice. I'll wait. Alright, so he is currently attacking for zero. <laughs> but also, you didn't engage an enemy this round. Correct. So Haldir is swinging for three. He has minus two defense, so it's three against three. Bada bing, bada boom. That's how that's done. All right, I will now exhaust Henamarth so we can take a peek at what one of our cards is going to be. There we go. All right, at the end of the round, where was that? At the end of the combat phase, deal X damage with the lowest. Four, five, five, twelve. So it's one of the white ships, so I guess we should do it to the one that's active. I agree! All right. And then a flame just generally does one damage to each a flame location in the staging area at the end of the round. Yeah, where does it say that? Right here? Because I miss that almost every time. Yeah. And it's in the staging area? Yeah. Okay. That yeah, is... I missed that the, the first time I played this quest and thought it was much easier than everyone was Yes! Was. I was like, man, I must I must be a really good deck builder. I'm beating this thing so easy, easily. Okay, so this is our first card, this raid leader. Next yeah. round. All right. Control N. I'm going to start out by drawing three cards. Wait, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. That was stupid of me. No, I won't. All right. Pipes and rings and all kinds of stuff going on here. Yeah, Am Anborn is in this deck. This is his orcs tumble into my traps deck with some new cards. Envoy. An extra resource. Nice. Do lore decks tend to need resources? 
funny because we all know it's true. All right, the Chronicle of Narnia is on Gandalf. Seems pretty good. All right, my turn. I am going to put Sword Thane on Hennemarth. I'm going to play Mithrandir's Advice to draw four. All right. Um, oh, this is awesome. I'll put this poison stakes up here knowing it's going to get put on this raid leader and eventually he'll just die. Yep. Poison stakes for one. It's the perfect guy. All righty. I believe we are done because I can't play anything. I'll be able to actually kill him next round. That's amazing. All right, so we know we have a three threat enemy coming out. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because you have to add the threat. 13, ugh, 16. I think we have to quest hard. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to send everybody. For seven. Yeah, I think that's all we can do. Yeah. I'm thinking I might want to hold back my envoy because I can jump the ravager and then. Yep. Makes, the <laughs> makes sense. All right, so we trap this guy. I get a card. All right, another ranger. Card number two. All right, that actually couldn't have been a better card. So we only added one more threat. What did I say before? Damn it, I gotta write this down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 11, 14, 15? One, two, three, four, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen. No, I did it wrong. Seventeen. That makes more sense. I missed something. Seventeen. Seventeen to our seventeen. Yay. Mm. Oh, this ain't good. This is not good. Yeah. So the raid leader I'll be able to kill next round because I have an event. Uh, yeah. Is there any way we can engage this Ravager? Um, yeah, I, I can engage him. Okay. Let's just think we have to try. All right, so he's gonna attack the envoy. If it destroys a character, deal one damage to, oh, <laughs> deal one damage to each of flame location in play. Ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah, this is a problem. Ouch, ouch. I know, Chris Jackson, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's so annoying, I hate that. And he gets a resource. Then deal X damage to the, the lowest. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, yeah. We have to kill probably, one of our white chips. <laughs> that's, I think that's almost good. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. get that threat out of there. I don't think we'll win if we yeah. leave that threat in there anyway. Um, All right, so at the end of the combat... Yeah, the, the, he, he should have gotten an extra resource and that it should have been two damage, which destroyed the light ship straight away. He should have got a, a second yeah. resource? Yeah, because he already had one from the treachery last round. Oh, 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 I thought you threw that on there. Okay, I got you now. Okay, 
Boom, that's gone. Now I understand. Um, it goes under the heavy burn. I knew that. And reveals a card and adds a resource to each of the enemies. Alright, when a card is placed underneath, reveal the top card of the encounter deck. This quest is hard! Yep. Yay! Another well, one! Okay, so now we do the at the end of the combat phase. Deal um, X. The, no, no, also the, the white ship says forced when it's placed underneath the Haven's Burn, place one resource on each raider enemy in play. Ooh, which one goes first? Probably they're both forced, so we get to choose. I choose yeah. the white ships first. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And also, I'm going to trigger Aelin. Makes sense. And kill this guy. I like it. Yeah, I know. We didn't we didn't really net much uh, less threat here. Oh, this this quest is hard. Okay, at the end of the combat phase, deal X uh, number of Corsair enemies. That'd so be a two. Oh no, are we losing? Are we losing the other one as well? We are. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Uh. This may not have been the best quest to try with these decks. Good choice, Pocket Wraith. All right. Um, yes. So I, I chose the random number. Okay, so then we, we trigger that, and then, then we reveal a card. When revealed, deal three damage to a character he controls or to an aflame location. Okay. I will deal it to Faramir. Okay. We're doing great. I love this quest. Yeah. Uh, and at the end of the round, we get a, a damage on all of the things in the staging area. Oh, uh, and the raid leader gets damaged by the poison stakes. That one I don't mind putting damage on. Oh lord, what is this? Ranger Sphere. Hmm. Okay. Seems pretty good. Alright, the first thing I'm going to play is Forest Patrol. Deal three damage to an enemy that has at least one trap card attached. Oops, I get a resource. I think I'll choose this one. Boom, boom, boom. So, there we go. Can you, can we heal locations? You know? No. That would, that, that'd be fun. No? Alright. Well, I thought I'd ask. Alright. Um, I don't have any more traps I can play. Seems like a Warden of Healing might not be a bad idea. And then... I think... Right now it doesn't make sense to play any of these cards, so I will hold off. And actually... Hmm. Oh, wait. I don't know if there's any treacheries that damage exhausted characters. I mean, you, you could play the Ranger Sphere on Haldir, since that, that's the only way we can boost his attack. Oh, he does get plus one, even if... Oh, okay. I misread yeah. it. I thought it was only if there was someone attached. Yeah. Yeah. Plus one. All right. We're powering up Gandalf. He just needs to find his horse. Bilbo Baggins! Do not mistake me for a conjurer of cheap tricks. Oh yeah. Are we still looking for a card? I almost feel like <laughs> Is it are you looking for Justice Shall Be Done or or what was it? Um Fall of Gilblad? Yeah. Uh, kind of. But okay. I, I mean it's not gonna be as useful right now, but in theory I could still get back into secrecy. Okay. Alright, help me remember this. So One, I have other two, threat reduction, which includes three, double back. Right. 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This time I'm writing it down. 14. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep. Yeah. All right. 17 against 14. That That's good. Card number one. Well, okay, now we're even. And now we're definitely not even. Man, I don't know. How much longer do we <laughs> want to play this one? Uh, I, I feel like we should cut our losses and uh, yeah. start a new one. Yeah. And, and it looks like no this one in the one is, <laughs> This one is really tough if you're not like really strong yep. right out of the gate. Yeah. All right. What quest would be good for this uh, trap deck? Do you think? Um, I don't know. I, I'm generally not good at this stuff. Just off the top of my head, I tend to pick random quests until I get one that I like. Let's play um, the Ring Goes South. Just because I like yeah, that quest. Be good. I like it. It's fun. Where is it? The oh, there it is. All right. Frodo Baggins. Yeah. After Frodo exhausts to defend and attack. Ugh. Okay. Let's pretend this Frodo is the one that says exhaust Frodo, uh, or exhaust the ring and spend a resource to cancel a card, shuffle it in, and reveal a new one. You know what I mean? Um, the the, yeah, fir the first yeah, ver the Black Riders version of Frodo. Yeah, that's fine. I like that one better. This seems like a good starting hand. I didn't yeah, I mean, uh, I'd say like either either that one or the one that's not actually released yet, the Mountain of Fire one that just exhausts the ring to add a resource because that would be really good. Oh, that's yeah, that seems stupid yeah. powerful. Totally agree. Well, like, especially um, for like this quest and well, a decent number of the quests, because generally the only time that exhausting the ring is bad is if there are Nazgul. Right. And there are no Nazgul in this quest. Yeah. No, I totally agree. Totally agree. All right, I'm gonna keep my hand. Ooh, look at your hand. Fun stuff. Yeah, I'm keeping mine. Okay, Council of Elrond going on here. We set stuff aside. Okay, Force. At the end of the planning phase, we do the Council of Elrond, which is very fun. So we do some planning. Um, I'm going to play this for free. And I will play... Where do I want to put this? Him for one. I am done. Uh, this might damage our round one questing, but I'm going to play Word of Command. Word of Command. Exhaust an Astari character to search your deck for one card and add it to your hand. You know what you should do is you should search for a second Word of Command. Oh, okay, that's probably a better play. All right. Ooh, Secrecy Storm. Um, I don't really need the wizard pipe right now, so I'm going to place Strider and Gryffindor, I think. Actually, no, no, that is supposed to go on Gandalf. Gandalf! I'm going to go back to um, I think play Paul Gilgalad on my own. All right. Fall of Gilgalad. It's a song. Attached to a hero. When attached hero is destroyed, add the Fall of Gilgalad to the victory display to reduce your threat by X, where X is the attached hero's threat cost. Pretty good. 
Strider, when you control two or fewer heroes, the hero does not exhaust to commit to the quest. When you control five or fewer, that character gets plus two willpower. All right, we get to do the Council of Elrond now. So each player, basically we're going to reveal the top card of our top two cards of our deck and put them in play in front of us. And then we're going to have, oh, dang. That is a shame. If I had played Mablung, that would have been a much better play. Mm -hmm. Ah, I wasn't thinking that Sword Thane could have been one of the cards we revealed. Son of a gun. All right, <laughs> dang it. One gets to be played for free, one we add to our hand, one we discard, and one we shuffle into the deck. Ah, dang it. Yep, Sword Thane would have been key. So I think you should do your uh, Timely Aid, and I'll yeah. put Sword Thane in my hand. And then okay. one of us, one of these is discarded, and one goes into our deck. I'll have all in from this Timely Aid. Let's see. Um, I think I'll discard the Weight of Command. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I didn't know if you had another card you are looking for. I mean, like, potentially I do, but Full of Gilgard is the one that there's only one copy. Right. It, it's better if I can get Gandalf some action advantage first. Sure. Alrighty, uh, after we do that, we have a choice. We either shuffle Lust for the Ring into the encounter deck, or we raise each player's threat by five. I vote Lust for the Ring also. I need some moment for for Eowyn. Okay. Okay, so we'll shuffle this back in, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, we advance. Okay, make Redhorn pass the active location. Boop. I did control A there, guys. Aren't you proud of me? Uh, the first player reveals cards until there's X threat, where X is twice the number of players in the game. Okay. All right. That's nice. I get a card. So that is two. And, oh, wow. Look at us. Nice. Perfect. Okay, uh, during the travel phase, the players must travel to a location if able. Forced. After an enemy engages the player, place one damage on the active location. I love this theme. That you're, the longer you stay in certain places, the more you're not there in secret. Okay, um, time to quest. I will send Frodo Baggins and these guys. So I will send six. Actually, I should do this guy too, just in case. So I will do six and I'll exhaust the ranger. All right, who gets the defense boost? Wanted. Let's try and get to this location. So I'll send Dwarf now. Um, yeah, I'll send Dwarf So I guess Haldir gets the defense. Which yeah, might as well, right? The one that's ready. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, okay. Card number one is another Hills of Holland. Well, it's the active location when it's explored. Okay, it doesn't matter. Here we go. Peril. This is you. When revealed, either the warg enemy in the staging area with the highest engagement cost attacks you, or this is actually might be okay, or each warg enemy gets minus 20 into the end of the round. Well, this is up to you. Um, yeah, I think yeah, we give it minus 20 until the end of the round. Sounds the good to me. All right. Okay. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. And we sent, I sent six, you sent nine. So that's nine to the good. See, that feels good. When Redhorn Pass is explored, we assign X damage. Well, we don't have to. Control V. All right. All right, if we travel the Hills of Holland, now he's only at a minus 15 engagement cost. 
not that that matters, but okay. So he's coming down. Yep. I I will engage him. Do you want me to defend? Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, but if I deal the damage to the active location. Okay. So he is gonna attack. So we do a damage. And you're taking this undefended? Yeah, well, it's, it's a damage when he engages as well. From the quest card. But yes, I'm taking it undefended. Boop. Attacking enemy gets plus two. So he's a three. Oh no. I guess I'll go into secrecy. Eowyn! <laughs> Alright, I will attack for three. And do three damage. Okay. Did I draw a card? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right, I believe we are ready. Does this screw you up when you take control of that hero? Does that take you, like, out of... Does, um, does that screw up Strider? Well, there the was the thing, like, Matt Newman said... Like te technically it does, but Matt Newman said he would be okay with people house ruling that it didn't. Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> house rule it shall be. All right, my friend. Okay, so I like to Look at that! Look at that hero lineup you or the characters you got right now: Frodo, Gandalf, Glorfindel. Arwen. Seems pretty good. I got lore okay, fair. Take a resource off of Frodo for me. Yep. Oops. Alright, your wizard piping. The envoy to the top of your deck and pulling resourceful into your hand. Playing resourceful for one. Yeah. Very good. That's me done. Alrighty. Uh, I'm going to wait for Sword Thing because I'm hoping to spend Frodo's resource on it next time. I will play this trap for free. And then. A Robin! Small Yeah. And I'll wait for Mablung. I'm going to save up my resources here. Okay. One, two. A three, four. Five, six. Oh, you know what? Last time I exhausted the Athelian tracker. And we re didn't we reveal that? No, we we got the the walk when we uh, ah, advanced to stage two. Boo! That's right. All right, I'm still gonna exhaust him this time though. Yeah. One, two, three, four. You could exhaust Frodo for me. I'm sending ten. I suppose. Well, actually, no, no. Sorry, I'm sending twelve because I control less than five characters. Yep. All right, who's getting the defense boost? Gandalf. Gandalf. All right, here we go. Uh, this is a, this can't be good. Attach to the active location. Limit one. No more than three progress can be placed. Well, that, that's a shame. Okay. Uh, crap. All right. No enemies. Except for the one we already have. Uh, this has nothing to worry about. So we have a total of six. And so we place our three progress. That's all we can do. Yeah. And then I'm assuming you're going to want me to hell deer this guy away? Yep. Might as well. Boop. Goodbye. Goodbye. It was... Okay. Boom. Alright, that's it for that. Is, it, is there no end of the round phases here? Nope. Mm, nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, my turn. Nice. All right. I am going to spend f four. Um, 
me see here. I'm going to put Madblung in for two. I'm going to put Sword Thane on him. One, two, three, four. And I will play this for free. And that's me. Okay, it's Master of the Forge from the top of my deck. It's awful. Holy resources, Batman. Uh, but I'm not going to play that resourceful because I've got a test of will on top of my deck. That's right. That makes sense to me. Alrighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and him. I am sending eight plus the ranger, or the tracker. I'm sending ten. Okay, by okie dokie, here we go. All right, it surges, but I get a card. Uh-oh, peril. This is me. When revealed, either exhaust a hero you control or engage. Hmm. After it engages you, reveal the top card. Oh, so it's just going to surge, but it's three threat. Ooh, this is a little bit of a decision to make. Um... Kind of a uh, tough situation. Um, we, I mean, if you, if you exhaust Faramir, Faramir that's what I'm, I'm debating uh, on exhausting Faramir. Because we should be able to avoid engaging it. I think because that's, the Hilt of Holland would give. Plus that's what I was planning on doing. How they, and how they can cover in the staging area. Yeah. It's peril. Shh, peril. Peril. That was my interior monologue. It sounded a lot like Pocket Wraith. And then another enemy. Okay, so unfortunately the ranger, the tracker I mean, only dropped one threat off. So I'll just add it like that. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we sent 19, so that's a difference of 7. So it's 1. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we have to first do the quest, and then we look at what happens with the location. We search the encounter deck and discard pile for an enemy, just each player, wow, and adds it to the staging area. One of them has to be the Great War Chief, if able. Well, all of a sudden... There's quite a few enemies in play. Oh, it was the next card, too. For an enemy. Any? Well, that's basically all the enemies. Anyone tickle your fancy? Um. Hmm. Okay, so if we put the Hound of Sauron, it's minus 5. So that would be minus 25 on those. Yeah. So the Howling so... Warg, maybe? Yeah. Just because it's got the higher engagement cost? Okay. Alrighty, during the travel phase, we gotta travel. Uh, when a location enters play, place a damage on it. When you engage an enemy, place a damage on the active. Okay, now this goes away. Forced, when it's explored, raise your threat by one for each damage. So we each raise our threat by two. That goes away, that goes away. We gotta travel. Um... So the Redhorn Foothills gives minus five engagement. 
And then we have to discard cards, and we got the Hills of Holland again. Will adding five help us at all? It actually does. Yeah, well, um, like e either way, we can avoid engaging the, the Corbain because like we, we could go to the home following which would be the obviously the easier option but equally if we go to the right home foothills i could spend the spirit resource to trigger robin smallbow and raise everything with an engagement cost robin smallbow oh, after you travel to a location spend one spirit resource to raise the engagement cost of each enemy in play by x to the end of the round I want to do that just to do that. Okay, so we're traveling to a fourth threat location. You're spending a spirit resource, and that means each enemy's engagement cost just went up by four. Well, it's it's quest points. Oh my gosh, yeah, I read that wrong. Five. Yeah. Quest points? Holy cow. So that makes it 33? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, of course you raised a threat. <laughs> I forgot. I figured this out before we explored the location. <laughs> well, okay, what happens when it engages a player? Combat action. Um, crap. Because I was looking at the Hills of Holland as the plus five, and I'm like, oh, no, it's just off by one. Um, so we might as well go to Hills of Holland. You can save your resource. Yeah. Okay. Boo. Okay, so no matter what, we're engaging this stupid bird. Yeah. Um, and the Hound of Sauron. If we engage the bird first, the Hound is at 30. Yep, okay. No. Well, then it's plus... Yeah, five, so it's hills. 35. So, yeah, so we don't have to engage the hand. Right. I guess we should... I almost feel like we should try to kill two if we could. But no matter what, you can't take two. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, how do you want to do this? If you take the bird, I can just yeah. shoot it. Yeah. So we'll just reveal a card. Yeah. Okay, after we engage an enemy, add one damage. Okay. The card. Oh, good. Great. This might be worth canceling with the ring. Attached to a non fellowship hero counts as a condition. After we exhaust the one ring, we raise each player's threat by one and reduce the hero's willpower to zero. You want me to ring it away? Um, it's going to surge anyway. Yeah. I guess maybe, yeah. Alright, all right. we're going to shuffle this into the deck and reveal it again. Shuffle, shuffle. There it is. Alright. Oh, either the warg enemy in the staging area if the highest engagement it costs attacks you or each warg enemy gets minus 20 until the end of the round. Well, we're not doing that. It's got to be an attack. So the warg enemy with the highest engagement cost. Printed? 30, 38, 38. Uh, I mean, it doesn't say printed, so I think. No, so it's one of these 38ers? Yeah. All right. So he's attacking for three against me? Yep. Yep. All right. Well, that's... Gandalf is a sentinel. Is he? Arwen. Oh, yeah. from Arwen. Oh, <sighs> okay. I was like, where's Shadow Facts? All right, cool. So it's uh, no yeah. shadow. Thank you. But that puts a damage on the exploitation. Because it attacked? I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yep, okay. Oh, boy. Alrighty, then Haldir is going to snipe the bird after I deal with the shadow. Um, actually... Actually, is it better for me to like, damage? Yeah, you, like, you could... 
Snipe something in the staging area. You I can also discard this treachery. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I could do. So like, you, you could kill the hound, or you could do damage to a howling log. Because you're okay taking the one yeah. attack, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's see what the attack is first. So undefended, right? Yep. Nothing. And Wolf and Del can kill it. All right. And then I will do. Um, I will kill this guy. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, Master of the Forge is going to dig for something. I need a threat reduction now. Oh, can't help this ah, yes, your threat is at 22. Not good for secrecy. Many choices. Okay, so, I think this unexpected courage could be useful somewhere. Ooh, Gandalf. Yeah, like Gandalf or Haldir, probably. Uh, let's see, Haldir, I will be getting a ranger spear, but Gandalf, I think, is just all around better. Okay. Especially if you keep giving him Arwen's boost. Yeah. Alright, I think... Yeah, I'm done. All right, I'm trying to decide which. I'm gonna play this on Haldir to boost him up a little bit. I'm trying to decide which trap I want to play. I could either do the poison stakes. I think I'll do the one that reduces threat. And then I can. I got a couple of the forest patrols, so I could kill it too if I need to. And that's me. A Mithrandir's advice would be nice. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. How much quest points do you have to make? 12. Alright. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's send 6 plus the tracker. What are the odds of that tracker even hitting? Slim. All right, Gandalf has Strider, Wizard Pipe, Resourceful, Unexpected Courage. There we go. All right, what are you sending? You're sending 11, and I'm sending 6. Here we go. Ah, oh, man. Again? All right. Uh, I'll cancel it. Also, I, I forgot I was going to put the tentacle on top of my deck. Oh, you're just canceling it right off? Yeah. Great. Good. Yeah. Seems seems good to me. And I get a card. I'm glad I did not exhaust the tracker. Surges into... Urgh, this is your peril. Dang. Yeah, I'll, I will exhaust Gandalf. And not engage it. Okay. Alrighty, so that's uh 
One, two, three, nothing. Seven plus four is 11. Plus four is 15 to our 17. Oh, we only make two progress anyway. Well, that's not good. All right, well, that is what it is. Dang. Now that test of wheel seems kind of like a waste. Mm -hmm. So I will play Forest Patrol for one to kill this hound. We don't have to worry about that. Um, are you sure? Because we could just leave it there. Well, when he... Oh, he doesn't make engagement checks, does he? Yeah. I forgot about that part. I forgot that card doesn't My bad. I forgot about the no engagement checks thing. Okay, uh, crap line from Dunlin. We have to reveal a card. Everyone gets plus five. So we still don't have to engage the great war chief. All right, so we have to engage the bird. Yeah. No way around it. And then I can snipe it. Is there? I feel like we should try to engage one more enemy. If you take two, you can't defend them both. But I could snipe the bird before it attacks. You, you want to do that? Wait, is the bird coming down to you? What's your threat? No, it's not. Dang. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, because my threat's low. Uh, <laughs> hmm. How do we want to do this? I mean, he's not attacking for much. Haldir's attacking for four. So I could kill one of these howling wargs with ranged. Oh, I wish you could take two enemies, but you can't. Dang it. Yeah. Um, I feel like we gotta get more threat out of the staging area. Yeah. So I think we're just gonna have to go like this. Right? Yeah. Okay, so after... Man, we're going to raise our threat by a ton, but there's really nothing we can do about yeah. it. Alright, no shadow. He's attacking for one. I'll defend... That's the, the log of the damage to the location. Got it. Undefended. Woohoo! Glad I did that. Alright. And then. So I can kill. He's attacking for four. He can kill the bird. Like that. And then I can shoot over with four. Plus your three. And we got him. Yep. Okay. Well. I was thinking we were doing super good, but then, uh, you know, turn two happened. Alrighty, I get to play another scroll of a sealed door for free. Uh, they're unique. I will keep this in my hand until further notice. I get a resource there, which I will spend to put in Hennemarth. And... I'm going to play that for one. I guess I'm done. It'd be nice if I drew my card draw cards. All right. Pocket Wraith has 23 threat and secrecy cards in hand, so that's no fun. Ooh. 
unfortunately, that's only going to cancel out the threat rate from the location. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can find another one's council. That would be great. Yep. Another one's council plus that. Plus that. All right. Look at Gandalf. Walking around 10,000 things on him. Gandalf's staff. All right. One, two, three, four. All right, I am sending nine. And you are sending 11. All right, 20. Here we go. Oh, God. All right. Um, when the Lord. I mean, I guess I could put it on Haldir. I feel like it's going to surge anyway. We might as well just get rid of it. Yeah. Forced after the One Ring exhausts. Raise each player's threat by one. Ah, let's just keep it. It's not a big deal, right? Oh, it's Peril. I can't even... All right, I'm, I'm putting it there. All right, uh... Ergion. Ergion. Ergion? Gion? Ergion. Okay. And. Take the damage. Location takes the damage. Quest card. Thank you. All right. That goes into a trap. He gets zero threat. So we added three threat. One, two, three. Seven. Nine. Thirteen. Then we sent. Twenty. Seven. Oh, I can't put progress on there. Well, we clear it anyway. All right, cool. So those just negate each other. Minus five, plus five, which actually pretty good. Okay, we have to travel. Okay, these locations are great. We're either going to discard a bunch of allies or... We're going to discard hand, uh, cards. Let's see. He's already got one damage. Most likely going to get two more. Three allies will have to go. I mean, I, I, I can lose some of my allies. It's not that bad. Let's see, what's, what's our plans here for the enemies? These two in the traps, they can just stay there forever, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so the Great Warg Chief is coming down. Yeah. Um, we can still leave the, the Howling Warg. Right. So if I engage the Chief... Then that will get us another enemy out of the encounter deck as well. Right, 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 right. I feel like we should travel to the Redhorn Foothills. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the Great Warg Chief is coming to you? Yep. Okay, after he engages you, first we do a damage right yes yep there okay uh discard cards until a warg is discarded there it is put it in play engage with you okay haldir is swinging for four oh that's perfect that worked out okay. Boom, boom, boom. Right? Yep. All right. Defending player discards a non-objective attachment he controls. See? All right. Uh, you're defending of Gandalf. It's five against four. 
Undefended damage, not a thing. You take one. Faramir is swinging over for five. Six for me, so it's still with 11 attack. All right, Gandalf was still ready. He's dead. Yeah, he's got unexpected courage. Oh, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and Strider. That's how he didn't exhaust the quest. All right, cool. So we killed the great work chief. That's cool. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Come on, give me some card draw. No! God, it's the last thing I need. Another sword thing. Hey! Is that... Oh, what a way. Another unexpected courage. Holy frock moly I'm going to move you up here. You're a hero. You've been promoted to Heroville. All right, I'm sorry. What did you do? Oh. I use the staff to draw a card to try and find another unexpected. Uh, not that unexpected. Another Elrond's Council. Elrond's Council. So if you take two resources off of Frodo. Gladly. Naria. Naria. Uh, I'm just gonna pay full cost for this guy. Ouch! It burns us. All right. Uh, over on my side. Ouch. Okay, so so when I played the Kelvin Traveler, I get to look at the top card of the encounter deck. And All it's right. Location right, I can right. discard it. Hey. See ya. Right. Yeah, I guess it's four threats. That's what I'm thinking. So I think I want to avoid that. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Bomb of the deck or discard it? Discard it. Discard it. Yep. Oh, okay. Shouldn't this have another damage? Probably should have like eight or nine of them. Enemy. Well, I, d I did the one when you engaged it. Well, yeah, but, but then that caused me to engage another. Oh, right. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Good call. Well, actually, uh, I can also do this. Okay, there are no attachments in there. And that's still not about the uh, Netherlands Council. Every time I reshuffle my deck, there's a chance that the Netherlands Council on the top. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, that's why I like Gandalf decks, yeah. <laughs> You're basically drawing two cards anytime you shuffle your deck to get a card out. Because you're putting another one on top that you might be able to play. Alright, I'm going to play Entangling Nets for free! And that's it for me, because I do not have... Yep, I do not have an event in my deck. So look at all the lore resources I got. Just yeah. doing nothing. Alrighty. Yeah, I can't really do anything. Questy. One, two. Alright, I'm sending seven plus the tracker. Send Frodo. Alright, here we go. Uh, this is a new one. Bitter Cold. When revealed, each player must choose either discard each ally he controls or raise your threat by one for each ally you control. Well, Scott. that's not good for you. You want to ring it away? Yes. There's, yeah, there's 24 cards, so. Oh, no, no, wait. Hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah, we just, we just reshuffled. So when the one ring exhausts, we got to raise our threat by one, and Haldir's questing for zero. But yeah. that's not a big deal. Okay, this shuffles into the deck. Here it comes again. Nope. Okay, I get the damage. And great, that came back. That's a lot of threat. Six. 
Those traps did nothing. Eight, uh, 11. 13 to 12, so nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, when it's explored, we gotta discard X cards from our hand, each player. So we each gotta discard two. I uh, got rid of my trap that I didn't want to get discarded, and I got rid of my event I didn't want to see discarded. Great. I lost a really expensive secrecy ally, and so uh, I'm fine. Yeah, you, you did fine. You did fine. All right, that goes away. Now we got to travel again. Uh, Hills of Holland raises our threat. Let's see here now. Red Horn Foothills. We got the same thing. We're discarding yeah. cards. That one seems I the mean, least. Yeah, I, I'm fine with the foothills. Okay. Uh, we only have one enemy. Haldir can't quite kill it. We don't have to engage it. I mean, I could kill it next round. Yeah. No, yeah, but I next round he's coming down. You want to just, let's see. So if we engage it, we're putting a resource on. When he attacks, we're putting a resource on. It'd actually be better for me just to damage it and then kill it next round yeah. before it attacks to save a damage. Okay, I guess that's it. Uh... I, I am going to use Naya on both of my Masters of the Forge. Makes sense. Seems good to me. Shadow Fax. And another secrecy card. Dang it! You're down to 20 cards. Well, really 19 that you can't see. Ha! That's actually just as good. What did yeah. I get? I mean, seriously, no card draw? I'm just playing another spear. I get a resource. I spend a resource. That's it for me. Oh, you picked Elrond's Council? That's weird. Putting you at 20. Here comes the power turn. So, Master of the Forge, Forge to try to thin your deck so you just have allies left. Now you need resources. I wish I could pass some to you. Okay, so 28... Yeah. That's what's nice, because the ring gives Gandalf oh. the leadership icon. Yeah. Doesn't need to be yeah, on top I'm of your gonna, deck. I'm going to take the Gandalf of Pelagia, because it means that I get another resource. Yep. <laughs> Always a good move. Right. Use the staff to get another resource. Look at the top card of the encounter deck. Yep. Oh, second time that's happened. Yeah, Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, these guys are free in secrecy. Free! Saving the last resource for Tusk Okay. That was a great turn. Alright, here we go. I'll do one, two. I'll send nine plus the tracker. Alright, and you are sending 916. Alright. Seems pretty good. Well, that mic. 
problem. <laughs> oh, just 16. All right. Uh, I was pretty excited there for a second. Um, that's just a three threat location. Get some damage. Holy locations, Batman. Man, we are all ready to kill enemies, and we just are not getting any. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. To our nine hundred and what? Okay. Um, oh, you know why? I was on your screen. That's why. I meant to type the nine in on mine, and I was on your your hand looking at your cards. What did I say? Twelve? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You sent sixteen. That's four plus nine is thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, exacties. Nice. Okay, so we each yeah, have yeah. to discard one card. Sword thing. Excellent. Oh, I probably should have done this first, but that's okay. Uh, make doors of Durin. The active location. Add Watcher in the water to the staging area. So he cannot have attachments because he's immune. Um, discard all tokens from the ring bearer. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he goes up here, doesn't he? The Watcher grabs him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there can be two active locations during the travel phase. The players must travel. After an enemy engages a player, place one damage on each active location. Once we explore the doors of Durin, we win. How do we win? Uh, we can only... Let's see. Progress must be placed on each other active location before it can be placed here. Progress cannot be placed here unless the first player controls the ring bearer. And once it gets nine damage, we lose. Watcher in the water. Immune, indestructible... Can't leave the staging area, but considered to be engaged with each player. It's attacking for six. After placing the six damage here, the first player takes control of the ring bearer. Great. Okay. So we need to travel. Uh, what's the tree crowned hill? Each enemy gets minus one threat. Okay. And when it's explored, we exhaust X characters. Okay, that's not terrible. We gotta raise the threat one. And discarding allies. That I don't think we want to discard any allies right now. And the minus one threat isn't a big deal, right? Not really. Well, it's only going to apply to the watch in extra range. Right. Whoopsie. And the thing that we would deal next range. Right. So it looks like Hills of Holland it is. Yep. Okay. And okay. that means we don't have to engage the Howling Hawk. That's true. So Haldir can just snipe it. Alright, so considered engaged. Yeah, so we're, we're going to have to chump this twice. I'll use an Aya to ready two chumps. Okay. All right, first uh, Hennemarth. That's fine, it just makes it even stronger. Goodbye. Ah, why? Right, done his job. Yep, uh, huh, same shadow, all right. Now, when you attack it for three, how much damage can I do to it? I can do so he he's he's not. Does he count as being in the staging area? Does he boost Faramir? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Faramir is plus four. So he's six. Haldir's got two spears, so he's five. So I'm hitting him for eleven, plus your three, for fourteen. Nice. Actually, do I even need to use Haldir? Nine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. I do. 14. I think Chad 5 was yeah. getting late. Okay. Uh, I don't need to use Glorfindel, but it, it's not helpful for me to hold him back. I right. Think. Well, actually, I, I yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. I would I could do it all on my turn. But Okay, so Frodo comes back. Yay! 
with the damage. But the Watcher's still going to be attacking us each round, right? Yeah. Is that really how that works? Ugh. Yuck. I mean, we can quest, like, we can quest pretty hard, and obviously it's not an issue once we win the quest. Right. And I have plenty of allies that I can just throw under the bus. All right. Oh, God bless America. I have not drawn one of my card draw cards yet. That is quite frustrating. Attached to a ranger character. Shadow facts. That seems like a card that's okay. <laughs> um, so what we gotta do? We just gotta make thirteen progress. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, doesn't seem doable at the moment. Yeah. Is that you? Yep. All right, well, I guess I will play another spear. I've sure done good at drawing like all three copies of certain cards and none of others. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't. I don't. I'm gonna look at my hand here. I don't think I have. I do not have an event in my deck. In my, I have not drawn an event yet, except for Forest Patrol. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, let's quest. So zero. Man, I, I can't send much. I'm sending eight plus the tracker. Okay. Yeah, I can not let you choose. Oh no, yeah, that was the whole point. Owen is targeting the master before. Okay. So yeah, that makes sense. Give him some sentinel. Alright, here we go. And I've lost kind of my boy power. All right, here we are. Uh, he actually gets trapped for once. But in the wrong damn trap. Ugh! At least I get to draw a card. Hey, Darren Runes. I can't play it right now, though. But, okay. Uh, para. I have to bust a hero I control. Engage with Samus. Okay, card number two. Uh, this is me. Either the warg enemy in the staging area at the highest engagement cost attacks you, or each warg gets minus 20. Oh, I don't care. They, they can get minus 20. That's fine. He was coming down anyway. Yeah. Alright, so I choose uh, minus 20. Alright. Oh, wait! Oh! I exhausted the tracker! So that's not three yeah. threat. Yay! That goes up by three then. One, two, three. Alright, that's right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, nothing, nothing, six, seven, eight, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18. Okay, now I'm going to play Darren's Runes. Another Darren's Runes. I'm going to discard Forest Patrol. Play another Darren's Runes. Oh, another Darren's Runes. Hmm. Infighting seems like a good card right now. I'll get rid of yeah. Poison Stakes. Play another Darren's Runes. There's a Hanneborn. Forest Snare I'll get rid of. Okay. Okay. So right now we're at 
You sent 17, I sent 11, so we're at 28 against 18. So we're making 10 progress. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we need to make three more. So I will do infighting. Is this going to help at all? Yes. Yeah, you can move damage from And the I'll move right. one, one, two, and kill him. So that's two more. Um, these. Uh, I should have sent. I should have sent this guy and relied on that to have him ready to jump. Uh, Yes, I've still got my... Uh... Yeah, are we really short by one? Because this Krebline... I'm going to shuffle my deck now, but there's a one in nine chance that last <laughs> one's cancelled. Yeah, Dave G's on my side. He knows how good in the fight. <laughs> oh, no way! <laughs> you did a C-stand. What did you do? You shuffled your deck? You shuffled your deck yeah. to do the Master of the Forge? <laughs> and you put Elrond's Council on top? Yeah, you pull the C-stand to get the final progress. <laughs> oh, what a good ending. That's hilarious. I can't believe that. Shoot, I should have had it on your deck. I didn't know that's what you were doing. Oh, that's so funny. So you had uh, you had nine cards left. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's so funny. Elrond saves the day. Oh, that was fun. That That turned out to be pretty exciting. It would have been... Okay, where are my Mithrandir's advices? Look at all cards. I had one coming four cards down, and then there was like one in the, each of the next six. Yeah. Yeah, a little card draw would have been nice to draw those suckers. Good game, man. Yeah, that's how you know you build good yeah. decks when you can pull an Elrond's Council right when you need it. It arrives precisely when he means to. Oh, that was funny. So uh, Robin Smallboro can't trigger off of the doors of Durin because they're immune, right? Yeah. Um. Well, I, I think possibly he, he could because it doesn't target the location, but we don't actually travel to the doors of Durin. That's true. The, the quest. That's true. Active. No, I, that, that that's a very good point. That's a very good point. Wow, man, that was great. I like this quest. I've always liked this quest. Well, good game, man. Yeah. Um, when I post this on YouTube, I'm going to put the links to your uh, channel, your YouTube channel, your blog, if that's all right with you. So yeah, pe people funny. can easily find it. Right. And... What, I was watching your video. What you just did, uh, Escape from Mount Graham. Is that the last quest you did? Um, uh, I did across the Etten Moors, and I just put that, that up today. Oh, you put one out today. Great. Okay. Yeah. The Etten Moors. They must have came down from the Etten Moors. All right. Well, that's wonderful. Um, right. Well, you got anything else you want to say? Um, no, nothing really. Okay. <laughs> Feel free to ch check out the various things that t Chad is going to be linking. That I'm going to be making? They're, they're quite good. That you're going to be linking. Oh, linking. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm like, I'm yeah. making stuff now? Uh-oh. Yes, yes. Get... Uh, I'm retiring. You're my replacement. <laughs> get, re get ready for ineffective combos. <laughs> 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 yeah, I always like it when I come up with a combo and C-Stand goes... You know, there's a lot easier way to do it just by doing, and then he just says this like real simple thing. I'm like, yeah, but that's less fun. My my way is at least a little more fun, but very. I mean, I, I have I have a deck that kind of works uh, on that sort of principle because essentially, it's a Vilya deck that uses the like the second ally version of Gandalf. Oh really? The Hobbit boxes to then have Wizard Pipe, so you can put things on top of your deck for Vilya. Right. And, and it's like, clearly, you know, it would be easier to just have him ladder stargazers. Right. But this is cooler. <laughs> yeah, I know. It makes you feel like you're... Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. There's a cool factor to this game. It's, well, I, I, you know, when you're a brand new player, it's just, I want to beat these quests. 
but then once once you become a veteran player it's you definitely start using the cool factor yeah because you need a new challenge all right man well this was fantastic thank you everybody that joined uh this twitch session it was wonderful and next week is going to be the regular twitch and i'm hoping we have the goonies quest out by then so we can uh you know goonies never say die man we're gonna we're gonna kick that quest's butt um and then following that is going to be episode 118 and i don't even know what we're doing on it but i'm sure it's going to be amazing because we're trying to make these episodes before gen con like recapping some of the best uh, segments that we've done uh in the past doing those again and yeah that's what we got going on right now so i guess without further ado i'm gonna call this a gg thank you pocket wraith warden of arnor i don't even know your real name which is probably why i didn't call you by your real